problem we must solve for is building an application for a real estate office with a web section and another section for smart devices in order to be used by real estate agents during their duties outside the office. For this purpose, we'll create a KB and the necessary transactions, property to record the real estate properties on sale or for lease, and neighborhood to enter the neighborhoods where the properties are located. Now we'll want to add security to the application to both the web and the smart device parts. This means making sure that all users logging in are duly authenticated, that is, the user must be who he or she declares to be, and authorized. So following their authentication, users must be allowed or denied access to different parts of the application. Let's see what Genexus developers must consider in implementing a solution for the issue of security in applications. In the case of web applications, because they have several access points, any object accessible through the URL should verify authentication credentials. It's common to program a procedure containing the access control logic for verifying the roles and permits of each user entering the application. For a greater number of roles and permits and more complex security policies defined by companies, Codes grow and the verification of permits to be replicated in each object and event becomes increasingly complicated. Because they're distributed and part of them run on the device itself while the application's business layer is solved through REST services, smart device applications are often left exposed to undesired accesses. What we do is verify that users who access the application are only those duly authenticated and authorized, so as to avoid the execution of non-authorized users. These were just some of the reasons that led to the development of a security module for Genexus applications called GAM, Genexus Access Manager, which we'll be using on our application to handle security aspects. The GAM is a security module that solves authentication and authorization problems for both web applications and smart device Genexus applications. The idea behind GAM is to use the security solution in the most declarative way possible within the application without the need for generating complex codes. This can be achieved easily because GAM is a security module developed in a Genexus KB that is included in our application and facilitates a central solution for everything relative to its security. To solve authentication internally, we use OAuth, not only for smart device applications, but also web sessions to solve the security of web applications. Authorization is based on user roles using the RBAS, role-based access control model, with the encapsulation of methods and properties, and everything else needed for handling authorizations for the application. GAM also includes an API to access these methods and properties when needed from within our application. GAM provides various authentication types. Local authentication, wherein users and all their credentials are stored on the database that we own. Facebook and Twitter, where the authentication mechanisms are those provided by these applications without the need to define local users. Authentication is done on the Facebook or Twitter site respectively. It is also possible to authenticate against external web services by using another application's user and role repository, thus facilitating the integration of applications. In what concerns authorization, the object execution authorization is validated, that is to say, whether it is possible to execute or not. This validation is done on web panels, web components with the property URL access equals yes, and web transactions. In the case of smart devices, on work with for smart devices and panels for smart devices. It is also possible to verify permits in the insert, update, delete, and display modes of web transactions, and also in the insert, update, and delete actions on the work withs for smart devices.